it's a centerpiece. I mean, right in front of the church, you've got the gazebo and the circle. It's a centerpiece of town. When I think of Keene, that's what I think of is that spot right there. The steeple is, is an icon for uh, not only Keene, but the region. I think the steeple in Keene here is just a great representation of community. Everywhere I look, when you drive into, the, into Keene, and the welcome to Keene signs, there's a steeple. It feels like part of the community's identity. My name's Mike Blair. Hi, my name is Susan Gadam. My name is Kathy Blair. And I've been a member of the UCC Church for over 30 years. I started coming to this church when I was eight. Been here coming for five decades or so. And now I'm the church council chairperson. I have been in Keene for a little over five years. And when I first came to Keene, I decided I needed to find a church home. And that's where I landed, was at that church at the head of the square. And that's how I came to love this congregation, this church. And through that, understood that that steeple was such a part of the city and the symbol of it. I moved here from New York City. When you think about a New England town, it's where's the white church with the steeple? And then you get this beautiful thing, and it's, it's majestic. For two years, worked down uh, in Newton, Mass. When I first got out of college, and coming home on Friday night, especially if there was a little bit of snow or a beautiful moon or something, and coming up Main Street um, from Route 12, seeing that church steeple was always the sign that I was home, and um, it was a welcome beacon of hope and light. When I first um, moved to this area, I, I work in Brattleboro and I would drive around and I would sort of settling on, on moving to Keene and I would drive down that main street and just see the steeple in front and it was like a beacon and it was just, you know, here's where I need to be. And that steeple was just, I, I looked for it every time I, I drive and I still to this day, I look down that, that road and even though that's, I, that's a church I go to and I look at that steeple all the time, that still is an important part to, of my my day. So I look at that and I go, oh, that's my steeple. You know, I take such pride in that, so. To not have a steeple on it that is so beautiful for the local community and for the congregation to enjoy uh, would just would just be a travesty, I think. Over the years, the uh, the rot just um, takes place and, and sets in in some areas of the steeple, most notably the decorative pieces in any place where water can become entrenched and trapped. There has to be something more than just scraping and painting done that's going to be required because weather takes its toll. Therein lies a lot of the reason for expense on working with steeples is a lot of the parts are actually custom made. And in our case, uh, we need to do this with original materials. Uh, we can't just replace these pieces with uh, plastic or man-made materials for historic reasons. So part of the community uses, and that's what we want. We want that to be a gathering place. That's what it originally was, was the meeting house, and it was a gathering place for the town. And I think it's really important to the town. I mean, if that steeple wasn't there, it would be so sorely missed. And I think it's everyone's responsibility to take care of that, not just ours. Could, could we, could Keene survive without the steeple? Of course it could. 
would it be a tragedy to not have that beautiful steeple preserved? I feel like it would be.